Hi, Joe here again. I'm so excited to share with you today some more information about using powerful recipes to transform your meals and help you start fighting cholesterol. As we start to walk with you through this process, just know that we're not trying to make you into a raw food vegan. We do want to get you to, on the road to eating less meat and adding in a little more cholesterol busting food to help you on your road to cholesterol goal. In our first training video, we're going to head into the test kitchen and catch up with Kathy. She's going to show us how to make a delicious meatloaf with less calories, fat, cholesterol, with all the taste. In this video, Kathy will show you how to substitute some of the meat out for beans, but still keep that great meatloaf flavor. Let's take a look. For our last recipe, which is meatloaf, um, an American staple, we found that the biggest benefits were in this particular um, meal. We saw that by substituting some of the meat, it really it didn't affect the flavor, but what it did do was the recipe ended up with having less calories, less fat and cholesterol, and more fiber. And the recipe itself is very easy. Originally it called for one and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm using one pound of ground beef and then adding a whole can of beans to kind of replace the, the half pound of beef. So I've got my hamburger in the bowl and can of beans and before you use the can of beans you want to rinse them thoroughly because you're going to reduce the sodium and also reduce any flatulence that you might get from beans. So we're going to do that first. And I really like this recipe too because the beans actually are pretty much the same color as the beef and when you puree them, you mash them, um, you can't hardly tell that they're in the recipe. And I choose to use kidney beans because they have a little bit more firmness and it kind of replicates the ground beef. So you want to make sure that you mash them very well. It does take a little bit of pressure, a little bit of time to do that, but it's well worth the effort. And it's just a one, one bowl meal. You just throw everything in the bowl, mash it up, and put it in the oven. It's very simple, easy to do. Okay. So I'm going to add the beans to the meat. And then my recipe calls for an egg. And a quarter cup of onions. A little bit of pepper. And probably about a teaspoon of salt. And three fourths cup of oatmeal. and a whole can of diced tomatoes. Then you just kind of get in there and work with your hands and mix everything up. This is the best part, just getting your hands right in it. Actually, when I was a little girl, I grew up in an Italian family and instead of um, meatloaf being our family staple with meatballs. So I know I remember my sister and I used to spend a lot of time with our hands in mud pies, but instead of mud pies it was we were making meatloaf, meatballs all the time and this kind of reminds me of my childhood and it was kind of fun. So now if you're worried about someone actually seeing some of the beans in the recipe you can actually put the beans in a food processor and they never really know that they were in there. And so once it's all mixed, we're going to put it in our meatloaf pan and put it in the oven and let it bake for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. There's other options. If you don't have a loaf pan, you can put it on a 
shape it, you know, kind of oval like a football and actually put it on a baking sheet. And if you have kids, this is kind of fun. You can actually use muffin cups and just make individual meatloafs. That's always fun. So it's ready to go in the oven. And we did bake one ahead of time. So I'm actually going to take that out of the oven and I'll show you what it looks like. So before you actually eat the meatloaf, you want to let it set about 10 minutes on the stove and it'll kind of firm up and cool off a little bit. And when you feed this to your family or when you eat it yourself, you can just you know, feel good about it because you know that you're actually giving them something that has a little more health value. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Um, by making the, just the simple changes that we did, we were able to actually, we did some nutritional calculations from the original recipe to this recipe. We actually were able to cut the fat from 12 grams per serving to 7 grams per serving. And calories per serving, we cut from 170 calories to 130 calories. So I think those were really some significant changes that can make a difference in your life.